We're learning more about where the $787 billion stimulus package is being spent this week. We focus on the smart grid. Brian Shackman, live in West Union, South Carolina. Hello, Brian. Hey, Aaron, you, President Obama committed $3.7 billion to smart grid technologies, anything from networks to software to these so-called smart meters made at iTron right here. And basically it allows houses to talk to utilities uh, without Mr. Meter Reader and eventually save you some money. This plant, fully automated, but right now they're ramping up production. They've added 100 people in terms of new staffing in just the last six weeks. And this is just to handle the uptick in demand after the president announced exactly where the money will be spent in this space. We expect to see uh, a significant increase in demand in the next 6 to 18 months uh, as a result of the stimulus package. Um, we expect that to accelerate some of our existing contract activity. Uh, and we also expect that to impact some of the potential pipeline business that we are looking at at this moment in time. So how will the money trickle down? Well, three of Vitron's current clients secured a total of $304 million worth of stimulus money, all of which actually have to be matched. That could translate into millions of these grids from this plant going out the door in the next basically year and a half. Now, two of these companies, DTE Energy and Centerpoint, are publicly traded as well. Now, in terms of investment opportunity, a huge range in this space. You have companies, the behemoths like Cisco and our parent company, GE, names like Echelon and Eaton. They don't all make the meters, but there's a lot of opportunity in the grid and the software as well. Now, in terms of iTron specifically, if you want to learn more about it, all you have to do is wait until after the bell. They report earnings. They're expected about 52 cents a share as the consensus on about $400 million in revenue. And in terms of knowing more, go to CNBC.com. We have a lot more on the entire space and, of course, iTron specifically. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much.